staying on top, over the top, and now the leader of the pack, as symbolized by the Alpha Timberwolf. It's been an amazing two years for us at Lull, and thanks to you, we achieved record sales again in 1996. Now, as one of the Omniquip companies, we gain added strength as part of a material handling conglomerate, poised and ready to dominate the worldwide market. I'm proud to say that throughout this phenomenal growth, we have remained faithful to our promise. One thing never changes, lull quality. Phenomenal growth doesn't begin to describe the 1,475 lull rough terrain forklifts that were manufactured and sold in 1996. Assisting us in our goal of 2,000 machines by the year 2000 is our new parent company, Omniquip. Where did the business come from in 1996? Everywhere, as our loyal customers responded enthusiastically to a strong economy and the new generation of lull machines. Selling new customers at a record pace began with an educated dealer group that fine-tuned their sales skills at nine factory sales schools. Being able to explain the difference between lifting and landing height is a key advantage of the exclusive lull transaction boom. In a typical example, a competitor's 37-foot lift height boom has an actual landing height of only 34 feet. With transaction, a 37-foot boom lands at an actual 37 feet. Customers landed solidly on the lull side of this important distinction and created the largest backlog in the longest boom lull manufactures. The 54-foot four-section stick attached to the 1044C54 and the 10K54. Always a company to break the barriers in material handling, Lull put an eight-foot tower option on these models and produced the highest lifting rough terrain forklifts in the world, placing to an astounding 62 feet. Versatility is the foundation of all lull models, especially when equipped with attachments that dig, bore holes, sweep, load dirt, and dump. And the advanced engineering that designed this versatility into every lull also considered the operator with easy to use joystick controls four-wheel drive, four-wheel steer, power shift transmission, and an interlock system that hydraulically prevents the rear axle from oscillating if the boom is above 40 degrees to stabilize the machine with a four-point instead of a three-point stance. Expect more from Lull's engineering department in the way of new designs that will continue the tradition of performance, reliability, and material handling efficiency. New off the drawing board and headed to a job site near you is the model 64434, a 6,000 pound capacity, 34 foot landing height machine that offers several new features. Compact versatility best describes this new unit that tucks the boom between the operator and a side mounted engine for outstanding visibility. The engine location promotes the easy maintenance and service that contractors and rental centers appreciate. And of course, transaction boom performance gives this new model an added dimension of job site performance only Lull can offer. As the market expands for telescoping boom forklifts with general contractors, bridge builders, steel contractors, and other industries purchasing Lull machines, our engineers are pushing the marketing boundaries even farther with machines like this Dynalugger with car picker attachment. Here is a machine for municipalities, salvage yards, and automotive recyclers that can load and lift a car in less than a minute without damaging the vehicle. 
Carrying and stacking is easy in confined yards with a transaction boom, four-wheel steer, and crab steer. Orders are building for another record year of rental tough lull dominance. Don't be left with unhappy customers who want the performance only a lull delivers. Get your orders in early. Backlogs are forming. And to help you get those orders, Lull will offer several new programs for 1997, including floor plans with attractive financing options, Lull subsidized retail finance plans, and a co-op reimbursement program that allows a percentage of your sales to be turned back to the dealership for advertising expenditures. What does all this add up to? More proof that the company that put you over the top in 1996 by leaving the competition 80 inches behind is sure to bury the competition in 1997.